baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All right, get ready.
Good morning. Welcome. It's so great to have you here again to be able to worship the Lord together. Did you guys um, enjoy worshiping the Lord with your voice singing? I know that um, Seed's family worship songs are a way to worship God and also store up God's word in our heart. And so go, therefore, make disciples of all the nation, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. That is our memory verse for the week. So hope you guys can sing these songs rest of the week and memorize and store God's word in your heart. Now, let's bow our heads and put our hands together to worship our Creator. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for gathering us here once again. Thank you that you are faithful and you are powerful and you are good. That everything that is happening in our lives, you already knew it and you are in complete control. And we want to thank you. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for calling us. And thank you that we can hear your voice. God, be with us as we worship you today. Illuminate, help us to understand your word and your truth and what it means to follow you, Jesus. And may we not follow anything else but Jesus alone. We thank you and in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Did you guys know that we are always following something or someone? Usually something that we love. For example, who's the best basketball player of all time? Kobe, Shaq, or Jordan? What about who's the best musician, pianist, or violinist, or guitarist? Do you follow anybody because they're so good with their instrument? And when we start following them, we try to mimic them, right? We try to be like them. We try to practice like them. We listen to them. We try to get a coach that knows how to teach us so that we can be like these people. Who are you following? So past several weeks, we have been studying about how Jesus called his disciples and how the disciples decided to follow him. You guys, if we follow artists, musicians, athletes, and sometimes even our friends with such dedication, determination, how much more should we follow Jesus? Because Jesus is uncomparable to the musicians. I know some guitarists, um, they look like they have sixth finger because they play so well, right? When Ma Michael Jordan was dunking, he looked like he was walking on air, right? I know these are amazing people, but compared to Jesus, Nothing. They have nothing because Jesus is God. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. And he died for you and for me so that we can have this relationship with him and be able to follow him. No man, no woman could do that for us. And when the disciples realized who Jesus was, they left everything and followed him. Just like that, you and I need to follow Jesus. And just like the disciples, several of you texted and emailed me and shared that you heard the call of Jesus and have decided to follow him. Praise the Lord. And now, a lot of you who are followers of Jesus, 
What am I supposed to do? You're thinking. Well, it's actually really simple. Let me share John 15, 16 with you. John 15 and 16 says this. You have not chosen me, but I, Jesus, have chosen you. And then called you and then empowered you to follow me. What this means is that God chose you, God called you, and once you decided to follow Jesus, God will empower you to be able to follow Jesus. And you think, how? Jesus is perfect. How do I become like Jesus and follow him? How do I study to become like him? How can I learn about Jesus? How can I know more about him? Well, this is the thing. Just like we have a coach to help us, Jesus promised to send his Holy Spirit to help us so that we can be like Jesus. And how does the Holy Spirit do that? Through the word of God. In Joshua 1.8, it says, Day and night I meditate on your word. As followers of Jesus Christ, the first and foremost thing that we must do is read the Bible day and night. And I know that's so hard sometimes. There are days where I'm so tired, I don't even want to brush my teeth and just go to bed. Yuck, right? Those kinds of days. You guys, it is hard, but we can do this. Every morning, open up the Bible, give the day to the Lord, and say, I want to follow you, teach me how. Every night before you go to bed, open up the Bible, read the Word of God, so that we can be like Jesus, we can love like Jesus, we can obey like Jesus. When, you know, those days where you just get so annoyed with your sibling or you're so lazy and your parents keep interrupting you and you just want to say no to them. Those are the moments because we have the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit that we can say, no, I'm not going to respond in sin in anger, in annoyance, in irritation. But I am going to respond to my parents, to my siblings, to my friends in love, just like Jesus did. And honor Jesus every day of our lives. I hope you had a great time worshiping the Lord today. Everybody stand up and let's end our worship service by reciting the Lord's Prayer together. Are you guys ready? Come on, get up. Ready? Here we go. All right. One, two, three. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And everyone said, Amen. See you next week. Bye. chariots and some in horses some trust in chariots and some in horses yeah some trust
trust in chariots and some in horses. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. Yeah. All right, here we go. Some trust in money 